Pippa's perfect timing. Kate's sister gives birth to baby son weighing 8 pounds 9 ounces after just 3 hours in hospital, before her brother James is first to visit the new arrival. Somehow she managed to time the new arrival perfectly. There she was, resplendent in green at the royal wedding, then three days later, just after the announcement that Prince Harry and wife Meghan are expecting a baby, she quietly walked into the Lindo wing. It was 10.30am when Pippa was seen entering the maternity unit in Paddington, ahead of husband James Matthews. Just three and a half hours later she was welcoming her baby boy into the world. If the process was natural, as Pippa seemingly hoped for, it would appear she managed to produce the kind of super quick birth first time mothers long for, instead of the typical labor lasting 12 to 14 hours. Of course, there is no telling how long Pippa may have been in labor at home before making the short journey to hospital. Midwives tend to advise expectant mothers to stay at home until their contractions have become strong and regular. But then nothing about the super fit Pippa is average. She sailed through her pregnancy exercising regularly to build her stamina and positively glowing, with none of the morning sickness that blighted Sister Kate's pregnancies. At a bonnie 8 pounds 9 ounces, Pippa's son is 3 ounces bigger than his cousin George was in 2013, and the Duchess of Cambridge was at the Lindo wing for approximately 11 hours before he was born. Second time round it is generally expected that proceedings can be quicker. In 2015 Princess Charlotte arrived weighing 8 pounds 3 ounces, only a couple of hours after William and Kate checked in at the maternity unit. With Prince Louis' birth in April, William and Kate arrived at the Lindo at 8.26 m and he was born at 11.01 m, weighing 8 pounds 7 ounces. The Middleton sisters have both produced babies bigger than the 7 pounds 7 ounces average for a full-term birth. Pippa had a son on Monday at 1.58 p m only four hours after news of Meghan's pregnancy was made public. Kensington Palace waited 24 hours before making the second baby announcement yesterday afternoon. Weighing 8 pounds 9 ounces, the boy is a cousin to future King Prince George. A spokesman said, everyone is delighted and mother and baby are doing well. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were the first to publicly congratulate Pippa and her husband James Matthews, saying they were both thrilled. The baby is William and Kate's first nephew, and they will have another nephew or niece next spring when Harry and Meghan's baby arrives. Just 72 hours before giving birth, Pippa was looking blooming at the Windsor Castle wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank, showing off her bump in a eye catching forest green Amelia Wickstead address. News of the birth was given sarcastic treatment on the BBC. Presenter Simon McCoy struggled to keep a straight face as he read out the breaking news bulletin. The veteran newscaster, who is known for being cynical about royal baby news, hooted with laughter as he tried to make the announcement. Composing himself, he added, Yeah, um, er, so, congratulations from all of us to Pippa and James, on the birth of a baby. A year ago he announced the due date for William and Kate's third baby by saying, I'm not sure how much news this really is. Pippa, 35, had her baby at the same private maternity unit her sister Kate used for her three children. Wearing a long blue coat, white shoes and sunglasses, Pippa was seen smiling as she entered the 7,500 pounds a night Lindo wing at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, West London, on Monday morning. She gave birth just over three hours later. Mr. Matthews was seen running up the steps into the hospital shortly after 10 a.m. yesterday, carrying a duffel bag and seemingly in the same clothes he had worn on Monday. Pippa, who lives with her husband in a pound 17 million mansion in Chelsea following their wedding in May last year, visited the Lindo wing a fortnight ago. The Lindo is known for providing a premium service for its patients. Each is given a private room with their own ensuite bathroom. Gourmet food is available via the wing's extensive menus, while new parents are offered a wine list to celebrate their arrival. While her sister Kate suffered from severe morning sickness when she was expecting her children, Pippa has boasted of a zen-like pregnancy. She has used meditation to cope with the final few weeks leading up to the birth. Writing in her Waitrose Weekend column, she said, As the final month nears and the bump grows prouder each day, movement is certainly getting more awkward. As a result, 
One of the biggest changes is that my lower body has tightened up. The transformations to my body that are taking place as it prepares for childbirth have meant that the sound sleeps and the baby bubble effect have gone. Reality is finally kicking in. Pippa said she had signed up to a beginner's meditation class, which would involve learning how to meditate twice daily for 20 minutes while chanting a mantra.